Ministers have been told to focus on fixing the flawed deal with the EU by Brexit bashing MPs after the UK agreed a £2. 3 billion trade deal with New Zealand. Yesterday Prime Minister Boris Johnson spoke via video call to New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to agree terms of the pact. Hailed as a world-leading deal, it is expected to cut red tape for businesses and end tariffs on exports. Tariffs as high as 10% will be removed on a huge range of UK goods, from clothing and footwear to buses, ships, bulldozers and excavators. The agreement came after 16 months of intense negotiations and has been praised by business groups. But amid the celebrations, a group of largely former Remainer MPs has said the deal is worth considerably less than trade with the EU and ministers should focus their time on mending relations with Brussels. Hilary Benn MP, Chair of the Cross Party, Cross Industry UK Trade and Business Commission, said, I welcome this announcement, but geographically, New Zealand is one of the most distant countries from us. And with a much smaller population than the UK, export opportunities from a new deal will be, while welcome, small in terms of our overall trade. Increasing trade with distant nations, with all the CO2 emissions involved in transporting goods, raises profound questions ahead of COP26. That's why the government must work to improve their flawed deal with the EU to support struggling British businesses and do more to maintain our climate commitments. All MPs on the Commission Bar 1 supported Remain in the 2016 referendum. The Commission was set up by Mr Benn in April to scrutinise the UK's trade deals. Its secretariat is provided by the group Best for Britain which was launched in 2017 with the aim of stopping Brexit. International Trade Secretary Anne-Marie Trevelyan described the New Zealand trade deal as a win-win for two like-minded democracies. Meanwhile, Mr Johnson said, this is great trade deal for the United Kingdom, cementing our long friendship with New Zealand and furthering our ties with the Indo-Pacific. It will benefit businesses and consumers across the country, cutting costs for exporters and opening up access for our workers.